Welcome to the channel, everyone. I'm Robin Elliott, better known as Cave and Spider. Today I'm here to uh, kind of go over the setup of the 12.3 inch uh, 2024 style um, Android head unit for the uh, 2008 to 2017 Gran Turismo. Um, it's going to be a little hard. I got the brightness down. Um, so hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to see this okay. Uh, not wiggle around too much. So um, basically what, when you first fire this up, um, there, there's going to be some things that you're going to need to set. So um, I'm going to go ahead and shut the lower panel off here. Now one thing, I, I guess I'll turn it on. If, if when you get this unit and the temperature is in Celsius, what you do, you just press and hold the in between here and a menu will come up and now there's a dim uh, there's and units down here so uh, you could set the dimming on here and also you could uh, switch it to Fahrenheit uh, and then there's a little back button over here and that'll return you back to the um, the main screen so the power button over here goes it shuts that off it still functions there hang it just shuts the screen off so okay let's go ahead and, and get uh, get set here with the uh, head unit. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do uh, when you fire this up, you're going to want to go over to uh, the Play Store. Um, now you're going to need a Gmail account if you don't already you already have one. You're going to want to sign into this. I'm already signed in signed into it. So once you sign into your Google Play Store, you're, uh, it's going to sign you into um, uh, YouTube, Google. If you have your Gmail, it's going to sign you into everything on here. So up in the right corner is your little icon. You're going to want to go in and you're going to want to update all the apps. So you're going to press that little icon up there. You're going to go to manage apps and device. And then you're going to go to um, updates available. And right here it shows that I have 10 updates. I won't do those right now, um, but there's quite a few. So I usually do this. Um, once or you know probably every other week or so is I up, I update it so um, but one thing you're gonna want to do you could pull the top of the screen down and it's going to give you your Wi-Fi uh, mobile data which that's going to be if you do the SIM card um, Bluetooth um, you could actually do a blank screen if you want to just shut your screen off you could do that um, which is really nice a mute button and then here's your reboot so if something isn't working quite right you're gonna you could do a reboot right from the screen here um, and then there's a Bluetooth and some other uh, stuff right here um, so let's go to let's go to the home screen and let's go to apps because I'm going to show you how to set up your Wi-Fi when you first get this. So you, when, when you're first thing you're going to do, do, I guess, before you go to the Play Store, you're going to want to connect to your Wi-Fi. So you could either do your home Wi-Fi network or you could do your phone. So I'm connected to my phone hotspot. You'll see it's Verizon there. So that's how I do. Uh, that's how I uh, run mine. So once you're connected, uh, to the Wi-Fi now you're gonna see you're gonna have your your Wi-Fi emblem right here and if you connect to Apple CarPlay which will go over here in just a little bit or Android Auto that's gonna go away and it's gonna be a hotspot deal so if you ever want to do that you need to you need to pull the top of the screen down if you ever want to get to Wi-Fi and press that because otherwise it's not gonna be on Wi-Fi now if you don't if you don't activate the um, CarPlay don't turn the CarPlay and stuff on it'll automatically, you turn your Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone, it'll automatically connect instantly as when you get in and when you turn this on. Um, so that's gonna be the first thing, Wi-Fi, and then go to your Play Store, get all the apps downloaded and start getting everything up to date on here. Um, of course you have your Bluetooth, so you could, you could uh, go ahead and connect your phone uh, to, to the head unit um, let's see here. Common. I, I think we need to go to. Let's see. We'll go through the common here real quick. Um, just just on some of the things that you want. Now, navigation app. If you download Waze or whatever, 
Um, you could set to whatever you want, what what app you want here. So I have I have maps. I don't have Waze downloaded yet. So um, I'm not. I don't have that. Whoop! We don't want airplane mode. That just knocked off my Wi-Fi. There. Okay, it's back on. Okay. Um, navigation on boot. You can uh, activate that. So when you boot this up it automatically just the whole screen is going to be your navigation um, music settings and video settings you can set um, I have Pandora and YouTube so the, the quick buttons on the side that that'll you could you could assign those USB don't worry about that um, see so you're gonna try and hit the important stuff here that uh, you're gonna want to. Uh... Okay, it looks like everything there is okay. Um, beep. So if you don't want every time you touch the screen, you can turn the beep off, which I have off. Post volume. Um, I have it down to four. Boot volume. Bluetooth volume. So you could bring. You want to bring some of these volumes down. Otherwise, uh, when you do your uh, volume, it's going to each level is going to be really loud. So right now, um, like up here, I don't have my steering wheel buttons don't work, which I'll be fixing those soon and doing a video on it. So I have to push the little thing up here, and I have to use a slider for the, my volume right now. So that's where it's up in the corner there. Uh, host mic. Uh, See, so yeah, that should be preset. Uh, Bluetooth call might gain. Normal recording might gain. I haven't messed with those, and they seem to be working. Now, here's a reverse mute. So, if that's activated, then when you put it in reverse, it's going to cut the music out. Um, and then you could put a percentage of how much it decreases if you want for safety reasons uh, reverse here's your reverse radar park radar guides all that good stuff right here um, if your camera's not working the reversing camera system or if you want to upgrade to a different one you could switch what type type of camera so this one has an AHD 720p 25 with 25 frames per second so if for some reason you're getting a squiggly Re, uh, screen when you put it in reverse this is where you go and adjust that and you and you have to pick that um, okay let's go to system and let's see that's the night brightness and day brightness so you could adjust that it's on night right now uh, date and time. So this is kind of important because when it comes, a lot of times this is going to be set to China time. Uh, sometimes they set it to America, but a lot of times it's set to China. So you're going to go to um, date and time. It's going to go to this. Now this is your Android section. So you're going to want to, you're going to see use network provided time is going to be on. Use network provided time zone is going to be on. Shut that one off. And then that allows you to go into the time zone. You're going to change the radio, or excuse me, the region to United States and the time zone, like I'm in Central, so I set it to uh, Chicago, and that's it. And then you can do your, uh, if you want to do your 24 hour format or whatever. So that's that. And this does sync up perfectly with the, um, with the cluster. So the time from here on to here are identical. They talk to each other so that it's all synced up. So whatever time showing on your head unit is going to show up there on the cluster. You don't have to set that. So, so we're going to get back out of that. Uh, these are some of your factory. So your account. So this will show your Google account. So I'm signed into my Google account. Um, and then more app management and uh, permissions and stuff. This is where you clear the cache and... and uh, force stop, um, you know, clean clean data up and stuff if you need to. Um, your storage space. Uh, I think that's all that I have on there. Uh, software version. So sometimes if uh, if you if there's an update or something and and we need your information, it's going to be in the software version here. And uh, this is where you're going to get all that good information. Uh, the factory, I think, is one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. 
Okay, it's 8888. That's going to get you into your factory. Now, for the most part, you're not going to want to mess with much of this stuff. I would, there's a little bit you can. Uh, the sound balances and stuff, you could go in and, and um, do some of that. Like if you have a uh, HDMI hooked up, there's some stuff in here, um, but it's not that um, important. Uh, let's see, I'm just trying to see if there's anything in here that we have to adjust. Um, yes, so here's the radio zone setting. Uh, it's probably set, might be set to China, so you're going to want to do it to America. Uh, the radio antenna switch, um, you're going to want that on. That gives the power to the, the booster in there. Radio RDS, that's going to be the information. You, I have that on. Um, let's see. And I think that's all there. So that's pretty much all in the factory. There's some other things in there that you can go in and play with, but I wouldn't recommend. Maybe the sound balance and some stuff like that, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. It's pretty much set from the factory. That's why they're locked. Uh, mainly, mainly the radio region and stuff, that's where you want to, um, that's where you want to do your adjustment in there. So that's that. Um, Let's go into the uh, equalizer. This has kind of been a big thing. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of questions asked on here. So this is running a four channel. Okay, so this this is designed to run in different vehicles and stuff. So in here you want to run a four channel. Now there's a DTS switch. Now originally I had this on, it was almost overpowering. So I had the DTS switch off. And, and I think it sounds best. It's not overdriving the speakers and stuff. So let's kind of go through some of this. I'll get in the back. Um, you, you could adjust the gains on that. So th since this is four, the, the, you have four choices here. Uh, sound effect. Now this is where it gets really complicated. Um, I guess you could say. Um, now there's a bunch of preset. There's two pages of preset um, uh, I guess equalizers in here. Now I personally use um, the simple mode. Well what simple mode is is your you get to control it. So um, you get to control the bass, the treble and all that. Now keep this in mind. On this one here there's a front and rear equalizer. So for all your front speakers front left front right out so that that's what you're, you're this is the front one so you'll want to adjust that now i haven't gone in and adjusted much just a little bit i could spend hours doing this i just haven't had a time to tweak it or anything yet um so that's the front and then you could go to the right left and right rear and then you could you adjust those so you have to adjust these in two different spots that you have the front set now there's a center um out I'm not I haven't played with the center um, and then the sub I haven't played with the sub I don't know if that's for a separate sub or what so basically the front left front right out and the right left and the right or excuse me the rear left and the rear right those are the two that I have played with and and that I understand at this time so now you if you get it all and you don't like it you can just hit restore it'll all uh, uh, you know level it all out um, and then but it's kind of neat you could go um, you know change the levels here um, it, it, it's it you'll just have to play with it, it it's going to take some time to get used to and to play with um, and then there there is a crossover um, you could so you could do crossover if, if you're you do the front left front you know, it's it's very complicated if you don't know about how to work crossovers just leave it or there's a couple good videos on youtube um that that explain crossovers and how to do it and everything now to do the frequencies and the slopes and all this and that kind of cool someday i'll get out here and i'll do that i'll get this all set fade and balance you could you know it's got some presets or you can just take your finger and move it all over you know um, or you hit restore, puts it right back to the center. So I think I had mine actually towards the back a little bit, is what I had mine. Uh, C0. Anyhow, I had mine kind of, kind of towards the back a little more. Uh, scenes, um, these are 
these are kind of uh, some preset scenes. I don't understand it yet. I'm still learning there's a cinema mode. I don't know if this is for when you're watching something or uh, there's a music mode. So it's a lot of it. I, I don't understand a lot of this. I'm still learning. So I'm just kind of showing you where all this is and what you can play with. Uh, front sound field, backward sound field, mixing level, middle. So this it's just bass boost. Um, if you want the front more boosted, the back or the back, because this does have a front sub and a rear sub. And then sound fields. You could move the sound fields in the car and everything. So it's pretty detailed. Um, delays. Um, and I think that's about it. So, and everything has restores and everything. And you could also set, say if you want to do um, an equalizer, you could do um, different users and stuff. You could save them uh, for different people and stuff. So if people have, there's a user mode down here, user one, user two, user three. So you could switch those and, and people could have their own custom settings and everything. So that's kind of the, uh, uh, the just of that. So that kind of goes over all the, the DSP, the, the, the equalizer and everything. Oh, well, let's see. I'm trying to think some of the other things. Um, of course, um, Android Auto. I'm going to open Z-Link up real quick. It's under Z-Link for your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay. So you go into uh, that and it'll automatically detect if you're going to be connected to CarPlay or Android Auto, you'll see it kind of flip back and forth there. And there's a setting in here, clear on the right here, and you'll see background connection. I have that on. So if I have my Bluetooth and my Wi-Fi on, it'll automatically connect. So you'll see, I'm going to go ahead and switch that uh, hotspot off and turn on my Wi-Fi and my Bluetooth on my phone. We're going to go ahead and do that and see we'll go over to it might even start connecting on its own here in a second uh, so three pages there we go bluetooth so we're going to go ahead and connect my bluetooth uh, let's see no we want connect um, Here's, here's the ultra, let's go ahead and connect to the Samsung. Okay, it's connected, it connects very fast. And now my, um, it's gonna automatically connect. And you could shut that off, so if you don't want it automatically connecting, you could shut that off. Um, and there it is, and there's all my, I think my music's gonna start playing here in a second, so we'll shut that off. So, um, very simple to use. I, I, lo I love I love this. So, so in order to now, you're gonna see something when you pull down the top of the screen. You're gonna see your Wi-Fi is gone. Let's see, here. your Wi-Fi is gone, and you're gonna see that it's a um, the hotspot emblem is there. So. That's the, the way this works is you use Bluetooth to connect and then it switches over to a Wi-Fi. So the head unit becomes a hotspot and your phone connects to the head unit. So, and that's the way it is like on most GMs and stuff like that too. That's just the way they work. So I'm gonna shut my Bluetooth off and my Wi-Fi off, turn my Wi-Fi hotspot back on and then I could get out of here and it won't uh, connect. Now here's another thing that you're gonna need to do. On Android systems, if you're not an Android guy, you'll see the back, you'll see a triangle, a circle, and a square. Uh, the triangle obviously gets back, so whenever you wanna get back to the previous screen. Um, and then the circle, say if we're gonna be, um, like have Chrome open, you could pull it down and you can hit the circle and that's going to put you back to the home screen here. Um, the square, that's going to bring up all your apps. So every now and then you're going to want to make sure and close your apps. You don't want a ton of stuff running in the background. So that's just kind of another another neat thing. Uh, the, one of the last things here, we're going to go into the car info, into the vehicle settings. 
and this is going to be your factory all your factory um, settings and everything so um, your your door locks the way the the if you can't get your um, trunk open you need to make sure and have this on the driver door on automatic lock on um, you know the d daytime running laps on now they will be doing an update on the distance right now it's only in kilometers so if you go back over to your car info you're gonna see everything's in kilometers and uh, every uh, the average consumption is the only thing that's in reading miles uh, per gallon so uh, and they're, they're gonna be doing an update so this the the trip a and the trip B on on here will will be reading correct so that's what that is going to be um i guess we could do um say like um you want to have uh google maps playing we'll turn the wi-fi back on here okay now we're connected to wi-fi so um, say you want to have two things here. Um, let's go ahead and there's two d um, dashes clear on the right upper top here by the volume. You're gonna push that and that's gonna enter the split screen mode. So say we wanna do YouTube and then you press YouTube. Now you have your maps over here on this side and you have your uh, YouTube uh, over here on this, time, on this side. So. Uh, that is really cool. So you could do a split screen and everything. You can move them, you know, move them around and everything. So, uh, and then if you want to just close everything, um, just X out of that, you can bring that back over to the full screen and then just hit that. It's all gone. So uh, that's how that works. Um, I can't really think of much else on here. Um, I'm sure there is a lot of other things I just kind of want to do some of the basic things to set up and to get this thing up and running and everything uh, your FM radio and everything it's pretty self-explanatory so um, well I hope this helps um, I, I I do want to say uh, that that it is there's some uh, the equalizer stuff's kind of complicated some people will not think it's complicated but um, there's a lot to do so spend some time and play with it and stuff like I say you can't screw it up you can always hit restore and it'll go right back where it was so all right thanks so much